Hello everyone, it's Rebecca with a Bible Art Journaling Challenge. I'm going to be using Neocolor 2 watercolor crayons on the margin of my Bible today. I want to spend a few weeks just in the margin of my Bible showing you how I'm working on things that don't go into the rest of my page where my text is. I know a lot of you don't like to do any artwork on the top of your our text, but I do think that it's important if you're going to prepare your page like I've done just now, that you always do the entire page and not just the margin or you will have some really silly wrinkle lines that'll make it a little bit harder to do your artwork. So gesso or matte gel medium, just get yourself completely covering your page the way that you want to. And then I am going to mask off with the sticky notes my text so that I can create without anything kind of getting into that area. So I've got my stamp that I want to use from Stampendous and I'm using this stamping powder, powder tool so that I can cover my area which basically gives me a really good impression. I should use it more and sometimes I don't use it and then I see the difference when I don't use it. It definitely works well. So I am inking up my stamp and then I'm going to choose which area of the stamp I wanna show up in my margins and then use that part of the stamp. And you'll notice that it doesn't stamp perfectly where it's close to the sticky note and that is okay. The sticky note is pulling it up a little bit and I'm going to go in with a micron pen and just fill in the details, but I don't want anything to move. So I'm definitely getting it nice and dry first. And then I'll just fill in the sketchy lines with a similar nib size to the sketchy lines that I see there in my artwork. Now uh, this ink that I've used today to stamp my image is actually a pigment ink. It's VersaFine and it is really nice. I think it's probably one of my favorite for doing over top of gesso and that sort of thing on Bible pages because some other inks can tend to bleed a little bit which makes the um, it doesn't, doesn't bleed through, but it bleeds wide. So your image doesn't stay nice and crisp and fine. And that's okay in some applications, but I'm really enjoying getting those nice crisp lines just the way they show up in the stamp right onto the page. So I've used some VersaFine ink and I'm getting it nice and dry. I'm putting some Micron pen in there to fix up anything that's going awry. And then I'm going to stamp and letter on a few things up at the top to really go along with my scripture. So what I have is Matthew 11 verse 28 and it says, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Now, I didn't actually remember uh, before I started doing this challenge that I had coming up an anniversary of my mom's birthday, which if if you know me by now, then you know that my mom's been gone for nearly t 10 years now. And it's um, just one of those things. Sometimes people part life before they should. But um, of course, I always find her birthday a little bit difficult. And it's so wonderful that we can find scriptures to comfort us in just about every circumstance. And, you know, God is the person that we can come to and he gives us rest. Um, next week, I'm actually going to talk to you about rest again, because I want to talk to you about another scripture having to do with it. It's a really debatable topic. It's one of those things we always wonder how to be effective Christians who pour our lives out for the kingdom of God and yet still manage to sustain ourselves and feel refreshed enough to actually accomplish, you know, doing wonderful things for his kingdom because we can't do it when we've burned ourselves out. So how do we find that balance? And I'm going to talk a little bit about that next week. And I wanted to share about that this week as well. But obviously, um, you know, the real thing here that I wanted to point to is that not only is it something that we can do in obedience, rest is actually an a obedient act of worship to God and is a valuable part of our relationship with God. However, it's also a promise that when we come to him, that if we are laboring and we are heavy laden, we can come to God and he will give us rest. 
It's such a beautiful promise of scripture. And it's so important that we remember that and actually take advantage of that promise. We can just choose to burn ourselves out or we can come to him and find the rest that we need. So as you can see here, I'm just using some Neo Color 2 watercolor crayons. Neo Color 1 is oil pastels and we don't want to use those. We want to use Neo Color 2. And I'm linking all of these over on my blog, the colors that I'm using and the set. I actually started using watercolor pencils when I first really started getting into watercolor and I felt like it was really easy for me to use watercolor and then I realized that there were watercolor crayons and I started using this box and as you can see it's well loved. I have used it and used it and I just love it. It's super easy to just scribble out some color. If your surface is wet, you'll find that the crayon just doesn't draw onto that surface. But if you do it while it is dry, it will scratch right onto your surface wherever and then you can pick it up like watercolor. But you just get really good contained amounts of color for an area that you're working on. Right here, you know, I'm jumping in, I'm dropping in some red and then I'm going to mix it up a little bit with some of my violets and you know the purple colors that I'm using there and it just mixes and it gives a little bit of extra texture and I'm really not doing very much I'm just coloring this in anybody can do this if you feel like this is just stunning and that I worked hard on it the truth is I didn't I just stamped an image and then I colored it in with watercolor crayons. This is so easy, anybody can do this. So please do grab yourself some color. You could use watercolor pencils for this. You could use regular watercolor. There's so many different options. Just get in there and make it happen. And you know, if you work on the margin, that's a really great way for you to not feel intimidated by, you know, creating on the surface of your text or things like that. A lot of you want to stay there and that's fine. Just go for it. So I'm adding some some young leaf color there, some some fresh green. And then I'm going in with a little bit of a darker color of green in order to kind of deepen the center of each of my leaves. And that is just going to add a little bit of depth and dimension. I just want to point out that I should not have left my mask on for this time because I actually colored and sometimes you can let that mask won't stay on very well. And then you can get a little bit of color kind of working its way over underneath your mask and you don't want that so pull it off a little bit sooner than I did I you know kept track of it and it did a little bit and I fixed it perfectly fine but um, I wouldn't want you to be disappointed and you can see there just a little bit of extra color and I'll go in and just add a extra stem that just runs across the whole of my margin and I'm putting a little bit of these kind of extra bits of black that make the line not so straight and they're kind of like extra little buds that are popping out. I'm trying to make that be there so that it matches the rest of my stamp nicely. And you know, I wanna really encourage you to come and join me in the challenge. This is just something that I'm doing every week where I'm just saying to people, come and spend time with me, create something in your Bible or in an art journal that matches what, um, really speaks to you about the scripture that I'm challenging you to create about. And this week it's Matthew 11 verse 28. And every week it's something new. You can go back and do any of the previous challenges that you want. There's no requirement for joining into the challenge except for to create about a particular verse. Use your own art supplies, do whatever you want. Just come and join me and spend time in God's word and be refreshed by his presence. Rest in him this week. Be encouraged I love you guys very much and I hope that you will come and join me because I'd love to see you in the Facebook group and Google Plus community. The places on my blog have all of the links to the products. So if you do want to use what I'm using, it's all linked over on my blog. And I'd really encourage you to try the Neo Color 2 crayons if you haven't before because they are a super favorite and they certainly helped me fall in love with watercolor in a really wonderful way. And there, if that scares you that you can kind of see the shadow of that through, you can just put some uh, gesso over that color and then get going on that backside. So you can put paper on it. There's lots of different ideas and frankly, it hasn't bled through and it's been beautiful. I've really enjoyed it. So do come join me. And um, just as a reminder, on the left here, you can see 
I have a full archive of all of my challenges that you can go and just learn for free and enjoy that. I hope you'll do that. Make sure to subscribe and come join me on Patreon if you want. I'd love to see you. Speak to you soon. Bye.